In this After Effects video, I'm going to give out 7 tips when working with clients. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and I'm very excited to bring you this video because I'm finally giving out some tips when working with clients. And I've been working with clients regarding motion graphics for several years now and these are my top tips when working with them. And these are really in no particular order, I just did a countdown to keep you guys on your toes. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, my first tip at number seven is branding or what I like to call color palette. So what you should do is always bring in your client's logo into After Effects and make sure you have the client's colors selected and you're working with that color palette. So you're branding the background in their palette or you are you know, having specific text that is branded to their color scheme. And clients just love branding. When they can see their color scheme, their logo you know, popping up here and there, it will be absolutely amazing. Now this doesn't apply to everything. It might depend on what you're working on, but if you're working on a, I guess a corporate type of video, it's absolutely going to be crucial that you have your client's brand correct. My second tip at number six is when you first start working on a project, render a quick preview, maybe a 10 second preview of what you have done and send it to the client so they can give you feedback and make sure you and your client are on the same page and you're not wasting time creating something that they don't want. And this will absolutely save you time. The last thing you want to do is be working on a two minute video and you send them it for the first time and it's absolutely something they do not like. Um, and then you have to go back and make tons of hours of changes just to make it exactly what they want. By sending a quick preview when you first start a project, it's going to help you understand what they want. And it's also going to let the client know that you're actually working on the project and not saving it to the last minute. So extremely helpful. My third tip at number five is work with vector logos. I can't recall how many times a client has sent me a low res logo and it's just pixelated, especially when you start scaling things up you have to work with vector logos. That logo has to be absolutely high quality. So do what you can to get your hands on a .ai or .eps file of their logo. Um, if they don't have one, hopefully they have a large enough JPEG or something like that or PNG, but try to stress how important it is to get a .ai from them. My fourth tip at number four, which is kind of similar to my uh, second tip, but have the client send you examples of what they want. Um, and typically from my experience, when a client sends me something that they want, they actually kind of want me to rip some of those elements off. So don't be afraid to copy some ideas from the examples that they send you, because as long as the client is happy, that means you're doing your job correctly. My fifth tip at number three is pre-compose as much as you can. And this is more of an organization tip, but when you're working on a long project and you have tons of layers, you need to stay organized. And this is extremely important when client revisions come about because the client might want you to shorten down a scene. And if you have layers all over the place, things are going to become extremely messy and give you a headache. So pre-composing you know, specific scenes and maybe just placeholders can save you so much time. So if a client wants you to swap something out, you can go into that composition and just swap things out and it goes back to your main cop and everything should be okay. So try to pre-compose when you can. My sixth tip at number two is timing. And this is something you should talk about with your client ahead of time, whether they want a fast paced project or slow paced or more modern paced. And typically you might tend to do something that's more fast paced because you've been looking at the screen for such a long time and you can read it really fast. But you gotta make sure that the people watching this, wherever platform this is being shown on, have time to read the text. If you're working on a fast paced project, you definitely wanna make the area of interest bigger and definitely not overwhelming. If you're working on a slower paced project, you can get away with having tons of elements. So just keep that in mind and make sure you work on the timing so your client is happy. And my last tip at number one is organization. And I know that's probably a cliche tip, but when you're working on longer projects and a project that you might not know how long you're working on it for, organization is absolutely key. I've had tons of projects where I worked on with clients that you know, came back to me months later and I had to open up an old project file and things are just not organized properly, media's offline, and I don't know where anything's at. So you don't know how long you're gonna work on a project for. They might come back a year later and you need to open up an old project file and if things are disorganized, you're just gonna have a bad time. You need to be able to open that project file and know where everything's at and understand what's going on. So you need to have good folder management and that's not just in After Effects, you need to have good folder management you know, in your actual computer because you know you gotta make sure media is not gonna go offline. You're gonna to wanna to keep all of your you know, elements in one sort of, I guess, home folder on your computer. 
And when you're done with the project, what I suggest doing is kind of just archive the you know project and put it you know in a hard drive so you have all those media elements in one folder. So when you open that project file up, maybe a couple of months from now, you're, you're not dealing with offline media and you can jump right into it. You have proper folder management inside of After Effects and you understand what's going on. So, and I'll definitely make a video on this topic in the future, but. So that's my seven After Effects tips when working with clients. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you feel like this list is missing something, please go ahead and drop a comment down below and let us know what you think we are missing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful when you work with clients. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more After Effects videos just like this and drop a like. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I hope you have a good day.